One of the ways you can tell if information is factual is if it's traceable. So if you can trace your footsteps back or the writer's footsteps back to see where they actually got their information from, whether it was a survey, if it was um, through a report or some scientific research, that's a good way to tell. Um, sometimes even just the website that you're looking at. So if you look at um, this is cats.com, a .com address isn't usually as reputable as a .gov address and um, .org addresses. So that's also another way to tell if the information you're getting is reliable. So you have to do a little deeper research if you're looking at a .com or a .org address. I like to see if the information is available in multiple places. So if you hear something on Facebook or you see something on Twitter, it might not, and you just hear it once, and you try to look that information up, and you see it in one one news report, but there's no other information about it. The website might look a little sketchy. You might want to reevaluate if that's a true statement. But if you hear a fact and you look it up and you see it coming from different sources, so you have different news websites, if you see any government documents about it, that information has a little bit more weight to it.